Welcome to the Moto X Best Trick Final. 34 years old, it seems like he's only reaching his freestyle prime. There we go. Nice. That was excellent double flip. Hands all the way off. You could. It was distinct that his hands were off through that first rotation. And like I said, it's it's hard to put into words how crazy that is. Oh, yeah. 95. That was a great no-hand flip, let alone having two of them in there. Three best trick gold medals to his name. He is our defending gold medalist. He took home gold at X Games Sydney. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, we know he can do it. And that was huge right there. I've actually never seen that, where, you know, no-handed front flip. Um, once again, it's it's hard for me to break down into words how crazy these guys are. You know, now, I mean, a front flip, you're just, you're holding on. You're taking off, holding on, see what happens. And he takes his hands off pretty much all the way through the rotation. That's pretty amazing. And we have a new leader, Adelberg, 96.66, rocketing up into first place. Jacko, he could clean up the landing a little bit, maybe get the hands off a little more and move up to second. Or is he relieved with the third place, you know, after not being on the bike for, you know, however many months? So we'll have to just wait and see. And that was perfect. That was better than that, his first yeah, base. Yeah, that was awesome, dude. Those hands were off. Um, I mean, I don't want to say it, but it might have been a little better than Rob's. Was that the gold medal run on the final attempt here in Moto X Best Trick? And that's what Best Trick's all about. You know, we're sitting here talking about his injuries and maybe he's going to play it safe. Third place is awesome. And he just went out and stomped that thing, man. That was huge. He would need the best Adelberg score of a 96.66 to win gold here on the final attempt of the contest. Was it enough? A 97.33, oh, yes. that's what it's all about. Oh. Jacko Strong on the final run of the contest wins gold. I don't know how Jared McNeil doesn't walk away with his fifth best whip gold medal. 27 years old in his 10th X Games appearance. I mean, he's making the most of it. You know, the events he's good in, he always capitalizes on. Awesome turn down there. And like I said, I think it's always a little bit of a plus when you're actually turning down back towards the crowd. Jared McNeil. Look at that view right there. That's where you can actually see how, how upside down he's getting. I mean, it, it, it's crazy. Usually in this situation here, you'd be like, okay, there's three medals. Awesome, there's four of us. I gotta right. beat one guy, but right now it's like there's one medal. So even Jared, who probably thinks he's you know kind of a lock for this thing, he's gotta go out there and prove himself. This is winner take all, Jared McNeil. Here's Thomas Pages. Oh my, yeah, awesome. And like I said, I, I like that Tom's throwing in some variety there. I mean, they all are, but Tom, he's basically going two different ways, which is, is really hard. It sounds easy, you know, probably people watching this don't really understand it, but it's it's like skating switch or, you know, kind of going opposite on something. It always just feels a little different. Man, I think Tom's actually, I think he's making Jared think a little bit. Best or second best all day. This is his last chance. Mace, that was dirty yeah. from Pages yeah. on the final whip of the contest. Thomas Pagez wins his very first Best Whip Gold Medal.